Remember Desert Obelisk? No? Well, it's a seemingly useless card that requires three or four other cards to have any impact on the game at all. So let's make an OTK deck with it. The combo we're going to try first is Desert Obelisk, Grave Runes, Embalming Ritual, and then Forbidden Words it to make all of the obelisks pop out. But, but Fire Bat, that, that only makes three obelisks dealing a weak 15 damage, yeah? So we're gonna do it twice. Thanks to the discounts from Fate Weaver, if we're using a Galakron Priest-like deck, we can get all the mana that we need to do this normally 20 mana combo in one turn. So first attempt at getting the job done, we're gonna turn to the trusty ladder plan. So we're gonna take the standard Galakrond Priest deck from ladder and just kind of slap the combo in there, cut some of the less essential things and see how it goes. This is it. We can do 20 damage, he's at 18. Assuming this counter spell doesn't screw me. It's a random secret, we're just going for it, man. Please don't screw me secret. So they should make four, and he should die. <laughs> Easy. That honestly worked too fast maybe to make a video out of. I didn't even make any changes. This is still just the first build. All right, all right, so we did win, but this isn't really completing the challenge. We had to use the combo earlier than we wanted because we simply ran out of other options in our hand. The combo being eight cards is way too unwieldy. There has to be a better way. After much contemplation, we find the solution. Shadowy figure. This card allows us to cheaply copy our one obelisk so we don't need to do the grave runes and embalming ritual twice. So now, for only four cards, we can create six portals, but they are still hidden behind the death rattle, so we need some way to kill the 05 obelisk and the 2-2 shadowy figure. Because the shadowy figure is a 2-2, the forbidden words that we were using before won't work. If we can destroy both of the minions with only one card, then we will have turned an eight card combo into a five card combo, which would be absolutely crazy. The legend Dobsky23 though, finds the perfect card to save the day, Tehran Gorefiend. So now the combo is only five cards and 15 mana instead of eight cards and 20 mana, making it a lot easier to get the needed discounts and a lot easier to survive because I don't have to hold on to as many combo cards. Now with this new combo technology, I think it's worth it to reboot the ladder plan with the new shadowy combo. It's the combo is not really coming into play. It's more just me playing priest at rank eight diamond beats a lot of people even if I run a few bad cards. I need more draw so that we're actually doing the combo instead of me just playing priest first people. So we need more draw. We need more draw, less removal. We gotta really embrace the fact that we are a combo deck. Okay, we won again, but again we don't actually complete the challenge. We're just winning with Priest because I guess Priest is pretty good. In order to complete this challenge, it is clear that we need a more draw-focused deck so we aren't just winning the game by boring them to death with Galakrond Priest. I remember a Priest deck way back when that used Gadgetson to draw through its deck extremely quickly to get to Chef Nomi as a finisher. And maybe we could look up those builds for some ideas. Nomi? The Chef? Huh. Okay, so I guess we're starting from scratch. Miracle decks are tricky and require a proper balance of cheap spells for cycle and good removal to buy time and set up. To start out, I just build it full miracle with as many cheap spells as possible to get that super quick cycle and I plan on cutting back some of the cheap spells for stronger time buying choices as we see how greedy we can get away with being. Okay, so we play this. We Grave Runes it. We give it a Reborn. We copy it. We still have one mana left. Oh. Do we Terran? Can we give the Terran a rush?
Oh, the board's full. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 damage, but he's got more health than that. Might all go face, I guess. <laughs> it is sweet. So now, uh... This build is really showing some promise. The gadgets and package is enabling us to get through the deck quick enough to find the combo in time. However, the combo gets shut down pretty easily if the opponent has a few minions out there. So we need a few more tools to clear the opponent's board and set up even better conditions for the combo. I added a few cards, but most importantly, the two copies of Plague of Death really slow down the game and give us more time to set up. And Alex Straza, which will set our opponent to 15 so that we can kill them even if they have a few minions out there. With these tweaks, I think that the miracle plan is going to work. But now we can kill people from higher health totals. <laughs> but it's even harder to get it set up now. Alright, show me the invokes. Well, this little scheme having it with the gadgets not that bad. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. We're already this far along committed. We have to get it to work once. The struggle is real. You can always take the Obelisk with TK in every class challenge. We can't even do it in Priest! I just want it to work actually completely once. We got it to work halfway once. I mean, we, did, yeah, we got the whole combo off once, but the guy lived at like 9 HP. Yeah, we probably should... We should probably try doing the non-gadget way. Especially since we're already running these anyways, right? I think the gadget way might be dead. We might have to try the non-gadget way. Place Obelisk with Mogu Cultist. No, 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 no. It's an Obelisk deck. We'll do Mogu Cultist next week. This is Obelisk week. We're going to figure out a way to make this work. And it might be the neutral card draw route because the gadget seems iffy. At least has not been behaving lately. We'll do this discover first. Nailed it. If it was easy to do, everyone would do it and then it wouldn't be cool. That's why we're here trying to do it, man. Because it's not easy. That's the whole point. I think we just take the reset. We're really gonna milk the resets this game. We're going full milk mode. We're gonna make this game go greedy. We're gonna take this gadget to 10 mana, baby. And let him just swim around in the mana crystals. It's gonna be the most excited gadgets in Auctioneer you've ever seen in your life. Oh yeah. We're still taking the gadget to 10 mana. Doing a good job of finding ways to get chip damage in, which is annoying. I think I'm just clearing this. Unfortunately. I'm not super thrilled about clearing that, but it seems like the best play. It seems better than playing Galakrond, I think. We honestly might need the weapon with the Galakrond to be able to pressure his life total enough. Because Priest heals a lot. Even like post Alex, he could heal a bunch. So I probably want 10 damage worth of weapon, plus the 30 damage from the combo, plus the 15 from the Alex to actually kill him. Get 
It might be time to pull trigger on Gadget soon. I think we milked him a lot. Ooh, heal for me. I don't like this being here, but we do have two silences that we could hit. Yeah. I'm gonna go one more. Now we should have um, pretty high odds of continuing our cycle. Oh, he's setting up for the fatigue game plan. Little does he know, we have a, a finisher combo. Can't fatigue us. Theoretically. And the ooze is gone for our weapon now, that's good. We have like literally nothing to do now? The lackey is not good, huh? We can't use this for cycle. It's my hand size. And I don't have anything I can dump because of combo pieces. I have to do this without Genshin? That's annoying. If I want to do it. Okay. Even with the discounts and everything, and waiting so long, we couldn't get very far with this, huh? Ten cards left, though. We had a Gadget Geppetto, and then we had the Terran, and if we get the Terran, we have the full combo. We need the Terran and the discount, and then we're good to go. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the Miracle. The Miracle's not good enough. This deck needs to go slow, slower than um, Miracle because the combo is too big. With five cards breaking up the Miracle draw, it's too much interruption on the Miracle. Okay. Yeah, we can do like mid rangey neutral draw, the dragon package, and cleric of the scales. I think that's probably the deck. Can we play that? So we have one, two, and we need three. So yeah, we can play that. So we can do this and then play that. We want to save the weapon swings for after Alex. So now we have to Alex weapon then combo. We just need Terran. So the moment we draw Terran, we're just in there. I should find the Terran every time. Maybe hit him. We have it set up, so if he doesn't add enough health to the board, we could just kill him. It could happen. We also have the board clear, and we have the Alex to drain him to put him in range. Things are looking good. That's only a 4-4. Four, four. We got 35 damage total. And we do need to kill our own 2-3. He's dead. We've done it! It's happening.
Cue the music, baby. We can even hero power. <laughs> oh. Alright, this took... This took a long time. This took a lot of different decks and a lot of tryings. This took like two hours yesterday and four hours today. And we finally did it. <laughs> nice. That's what it's all about, man. Six hours of suffering for three minutes of, not even three, for like eight seconds of watching the combo go off. And look at that rank. Glorious. Remember Charge? Charge is a seemingly useless card that basically just gives a minion rush now. So today's challenge is to build an OTK deck with it. But, but fire bet, Charge can't go face. How will you OTK with it? Enter Mayel Shadow Song. So after a minion has become dormant, 